Okay, I had a viewer ask me how to measure the um, isolation of a coax switch. And I think he met one of these. Um, and so I have the world's worst coax switch right here. <laughs> I featured this in a video a while ago. It's just a joke. Uh, a thousand watts. It's just a joke. Anyway, I thought it'd be a good one to measure uh, for the isolation because it might not be that great. Um, and anyway, the other reason is it's the only coax switch I own. So there you go. So I've put uh, adapters on all of the connectors, so they're all BNC now, so I can I can deal with it. Uh, so, okay, so the first thing we need to do is calibrate, and I want to calibrate through the antenna switch. I want to make sure that it's working, it, 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 it takes into this into, the, into this into account. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually use my uh, my BNC load, uh, uh, open short load calibration standard, and I'm going to calibrate on this connector here, okay? And so I will go to the nano VNA, show you that, nano VNA is over here, and I'm going to go to, oh, so first I have it set up to 3 to 3 to 300 megahertz, so that's kind of the range of these connectors, 3 to 300 megahertz. I'm going to cal, I'm going to do reset, I'm going to do a calibrate, and now I'm going to use, uh, let's see here, I'll use these things here. It's asking for an open. Yeah, it's asking for a short. It's asking for a load. Asking for isolation. And now it's asking for a through. And we're done. All right, so uh, there we go. Uh, nice calibration in the center, and our through calibration is a nice straight line. So I have uh, the blue channel set up for a log mag. Uh, so that's S21. Um, so we have a nice straight line. So if there's any loss, it'll be lower. All right, so I am going to. Um, first, I'm going to disconnect the disconnect the cable, and I'm going to connect a load. I'm going to connect, kind of going to get a little a little BNC load, and we're back in the center again. So everything is just fine. Now, I'm going to um, connect. Uh, I'm going to connect the. Uh, S21, the channel one, I'm going to connect it to an unused port. So if there's any leakage, it'll, it'll come out here and it'll be measured. And there we go. So we have a leakage. Uh, let's see. The worst it gets, uh, let me get a better pointer for dragging things. So if I drag it over there at 300 megahertz, it's, uh, 13 dB of coupling uh, between the two. So that's not great. 13 dB of coupling. And let's come down here to uh, 30 megahertz. Uh, there's 29.7. Uh, coupling is at minus 36 dB um, over here. And we're. Um, we can move over to channel three, and basically the same thing. And we'll go back to channel two. All right. And then if I if I actually then move the switch to channel two, now they're connected, and we get a, a straight line again. All right. So there you go. So there's a, a crosstalk or uh, isolation, however you want to describe it. It's 13 dB, worst case, 300 megahertz. Um, so let's say you were going to use this thing at uh, 2 meters. So we'll go up here to 140. Here's 145 megahertz. And we have uh, 21 dB of uh, crosstalk.